Hey, good day folks. Thanks for joining us uh, here at Henco Waterjet. We're on site at a customer location here in Minnesota. Uh, you can see here behind me, we got an AccuStream Hypertherm pump. And one of the things we're gonna go over today is how to replace uh, the high pressure seals inside the pump. All right, folks, so we're gonna be doing a seal change here. The pump that we're looking at, um, it actually has a dynamic leak, which is going to be the side closest uh, to the center section that the plunger strokes through. So when we're talking about seals, uh, seal life, one of the things that we want to pay attention to is, is it a dynamic seal leak or a static seal leak? And you kind of want to document that as we want to be able to develop patterns or see patterns and maybe help troubleshoot it if you should be having uh, a problem with one seal or the other. All right, we're going to jump here in here and begin with the removal of the rod seal from the seal housing using a pick is shown here. And we're also going to go ahead and remove the two outside diameter uh, O-rings and the O-ring backup. All right, next we're going to move along to the high-pressure cylinder. Uh, for this stage, we're going to need a rubber mallet. We're going to go ahead and rotate uh, the cylinder with the check valve ever so slightly tapping on the check valve as a means to break it free from the cylinder. All right, once free, let's go ahead and set that check valve aside as we'll be covering check valve repair in another video. All right, next we're going to want to go and set the cylinder on edge and grab our low-pressure poppet and set that aside for now. All right, next we're going to grab the cylinder as well as the seal locator tool and the seal push tool. Go ahead and place the seal locator tool on your flat piece of stainless and align with the recess in the high-pressure cylinder. Then grab your push tool using the taper side with the rubber mallet and go ahead and tap uh, your high pressure seals out uh, as shown here. From time to time your hoop will come out in pieces. Uh, this is no cause for alarm. Let's go ahead and set those seals and hoops aside. Uh, flipping over the cylinder, placing the uh, locating tool on the stainless again. And go ahead and grab your push tool using the flat side and repeat tapping till the seals are uh, removed. Go ahead and grab the uh, seal as well as the hoop and set those aside for now. All right, at this stage, we've got both uh, seals out, which is gonna allow us to take out our spacer tube and inside the spacer tube, to be careful, you're gonna have your low pressure basket. Let's go ahead and set those aside for the time being. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab some scratch bite and as shown here, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the surface of the face of the cylinder that comes in contact with the check valve. All right, next step in cleaning the cylinder is going to be to take two small pieces of scotch brite, putting each one uh, on the ID and utilize your thumb in a rolling fashion of the cylinder to go ahead and clean up the ID of the cylinder where the seal and hoop sit. When we're done with the roll lapping, we're going to want to go ahead and take some shop towels with some brake cleaner and clean all the surface that we just got done scotch breading, being sure to remove any loose debris. All right, next we're going to move on to cleaning some of the parts that come in contact with the cylinder. Uh, specifically here, we're going to move on to the spacer tube. Uh, the one shown here has a few scratches from the customer, so we're going to go ahead and use scotch brite and clean those surfaces. And just like the cylinder, we're going to use some shop towels with brake cleaner and go ahead and clean all of those surfaces uh, that we uh, cleaned up with the scotch brite. Again, making sure that all the loose debris has been removed. All right, moving on to the next piece. This is the seal housing here, the part that contains the bronze backup and the rod seal. Again, using scotch brite, go ahead and clean up as much of the surfaces as you can. All right, and once again, let's take those clean cloths with a little bit of that brake cleaner to make sure we get uh, the part uh, nice and clean. All right, we're ready to go ahead and uh, put in some new parts. Uh, from Henco, you're gonna to wanna to use part number 25056, which is our premium seal kit, which in that seal kit, you're gonna get a set of high pressure seals, which includes four seals, four hoops, four O-rings, as well as a little packet of grease, bronze backups, and all the low pressure seals needed to do a high pressure seal change. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that high vacuum grease uh, with a clean set of gloves and go ahead and lubricate our O-rings, uh, making sure that we coat each and every piece of the O-ring. And once the O-ring is fully coated, we can go ahead and place that O-ring uh, on the high pressure seal as shown here. All right, let's move on to the installation of the high pressure seal into the cylinder. We're gonna grab our cylinder as well as the spacer tool, pushing the spacer tool through the ID of the cylinder all the way to the bottom of the cylinder. 
All right, next we're going to grab our clean spacer tube, making sure that the basket side uh, faces up at us, and we're going to go ahead and use a little bit of that high vacuum grease to coat uh, the spacer tube for installation. Again, making sure that the basket side is facing up at you. All right, next we're going to grab our low pressure basket and our low pressure poppet and insert into the spacer tube as seen here. All right, next we're going to go ahead and grab our locating tool, center that in the recess of the cylinder along with our sleeve, applying a little bit of grease uh, to help installation. Important note to make sure that the taper side of the sleeve is facing up to you and the flat side is facing the cylinder. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab a high pressure seal with the red o-ring facing in the downward position towards the ideal of the seal. Using two fingers, go ahead and slide the seal as far as you can. All right, grab the push tool using the flat side. Go ahead and push down until the seal tool uh, bottoms out. All right, grabbing a little bit more of the high vacuum grease, uh, just a little bit amount. We're going to uh, coat the high pressure hoop and prepare for installation into the cylinder. You're going to want to note that the uh, hoops have two different sides. One is a flat side and one is a sharp side. We're going to want to go ahead and take the sharp side and face that down towards the seal that we just installed. Go ahead and take the push tool using the flat side once again. Uh, push down the hoop as far as you can, at which point you're going to want to grab the rubber mallet and go ahead and give the uh, installation tool a fairly aggressive hit until you bottom out that hoop. Remove the seal installation push tool as well as the locating tool and we're going to go ahead and check to make sure that the hoop and the seal are flush to the face of the cylinder. We've now successfully uh, installed the high pressure seal and hoop on the check valve side of the cylinder at which point we're going to want to go ahead and blue goop and prepare the face of the cylinder uh, to accept the check valve. We're going to want to grab the bag that states 25061, which is a low pressure seal kit for the Hyperthermac Accustream Stream style pumps. We're going to want to grab the two O-rings, uh, as shown here, that will fit on the outside diameter of the check valve uh, for the water inlet. All right, we're going to use some of the high vacuum grease again, putting a little bit on our fingers, and go ahead and run the uh, black O-rings for the check valve uh, through your fingers, making sure to coat every inch of the O-ring. Go ahead and install the uh, O-rings through the smallest diameter of the check valve. And go ahead and repeat with the second O-ring. Grab a clean shop towel or paper towel and clean off any residual uh, vacuum grease that might have been stuck to the face of the check valve. All right, we're now ready to install the nose of the check tube into the ID of the cylinder. Be sure to align to the best of your ability. Once aligned, go ahead and use a rubber mallet with a firm strike to seat the check tube into the cylinder. And at this point, we're done with that side, so we can go ahead and flip over the uh, check tube and cylinder. A portion of the spacer tool uh, will be exposed. Remove the spacer from the cylinder and set aside for now. All right, next we're going to grab the locating tool and place it in the recess of the cylinder like we did on the other side. Place the sleeve tool in, the, in next with the taper side facing up. Grab a single high pressure seal with the red o-ring and install into the sleeve tool. Again, remembering to keep the red o-ring facing downward. Let's take our seal installation tool with the flat side and press downward until the seal is properly seated inside of the cylinder. You may need to use the mallet. All right, go ahead and grab a hoop next. And we're going to take a little bit of that high vacuum grease and apply a little bit to the hoop to help with installation. And remember to make, take the taper side or the knife edge and face that down towards the seal. Again, grab your seal installation tool using the flat side. Press the hoop down till it bottoms out. Take the uh, mallet and take a fairly firm strike to seat. All right, let's go and remove the uh, seal tools and take a look and see how we did, making sure that the hoop and the seal are flat to the face of the cylinder. Last step in a high pressure seal change is to grab a little bit of the blue goop and apply to the face of the cylinder. Hey folks, thanks for joining us today and that completes our video on an AccuStream Hypertherm style high pressure seal change.